Proof rarely proves anything. This passage follows the feeding of the 5,000 and the feeding of the 4,000 in Mark's Gospel, with one exchange between Jesus and the Pharisees in between. In that exchange with the Pharisees, the Pharisees asked Jesus for a sign. After feeding 5,000 and then 4,000 with one person's lunch each time, they want more proof that Jesus is the Messiah and from God. What Jesus tells them is that if they are demanding proof, no proof will ever be enough. Jesus tries to make this point to the disciples with his statement about the yeast of the Pharisees, but they only end up proving his point about proof when they fail to understand his meaning. These are his closest friends and students who helped distribute the meals he provided, and yet they are worried he's mad they forgot to bring extra bread in the boat. All the things Jesus did before still weren't enough proof, even for his closest disciples. When we look for proof of our faith, some rational, reasonable, Loctite argument for why we believe and why everyone else should believe what we believe, that proof is still unconvincing. Because ultimately what we need is faith, not proof. If we'll live our faith, God will take care of the convincing. 